anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to line them. But you're going to bury them in the sand. One. Kind of like that. You're just gonna catch more sand in that, Mom. Well, what it meant to you. What it's meant to do is to be a barrier so that the oil can't keep going further and further up the beach. Kind of show. Kind of show. Kind of show I'm talking to you. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Again, I don't really want to edit this too much. I know, I sir. To, right? I was okay. staring at the bull. <laughs> so, if you kind of show, right, we, the reason this is, is that when the sand comes, the oil will have a barrier. This is kind of interesting. Some of these things might even have holes in them for the water to run through. But the, <laughs> the sand, as it, it accumulates, like the oil, as it accumulates, they call them tar balls. In the Gulf Coast. So as your tar balls accumulate, your tar balls are going to eventually accumulate in here. If you put holes in the cupboard, the water can still run through. Or not everything has to be interconnected. So you got the foot, right? Oh, of course, Mom. <laughs> Another one. Put that in there. You know, like that. I mean, there's nothing fancy dancy about this. Okay. Ideally, ideally, what you want. This is. I like kind of like this idea, where this actually sits on the bottom. You're gonna have to probably bring in a bobcat or something to dig out because you're looking again at a larger unit. And you may have to, you know, men are amazing, they can do amazing things. So sheet metal, I always say use some sheet metal and put it so they can interlock with each other. So that it forms the cupboard. But if you also bring in a base, Right, so that when it goes down four or five feet into the ground, you cover it with sand. You only need one bobcat. Okay. One bobcat to start the process. And then, uh, you know, if you put something in here, you need to create something. I don't know. I'm not a, I don't work with metal. So they'll have to figure out, or they can rebar it in. They can take rebar and they can just right into the ground so that when the wave hits it, it's not going to knock it over. And it has to be rounded because what's going to happen is when the water does hit it, because it's rounded, it's going to naturally go in and come right flow back out. It's going to flow in, flow out, flow in, flow out. But over a period of time, whatever's traveling on the bottom of the sand, okay, is going to be pushed to the point where it can't go and it will just accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. So this kind of idea, I like this because if there's oil accumulating in the cupboard, it can't go very far down much further than what you've already laid this down. So at some point, say after two, three weeks, four weeks or whatever it is, you come back and you start digging and what you should find, the theory is, what you should find is a, a, a large collection of oil that where sand has been sifted through, water's been sifted through. Boy, I kind of like this idea again, you know, kind of like a godsend message here because here when you go like that, the water, has the ability to still go through it, but because it's rounded, physics tells you I know. the water's gonna, water. quiet, I'm talking, yeah, Shh, to. quiet, quiet, okay? I don't wanna have to repeat myself. The water, when it hits it, you, are you showing this? Mm -hmm. Okay. When the water, when the wave hits it, because it's not a flat surface, it's not gonna bounce back. It's gonna go in and around and come back out. So it's gonna, gonna go with the wave motion. So whether we put holes in the cupboard or whether we leave it like this, like a solid unit, the point is that uh, it's a natural barrier, well, man-made barrier, right, that can 
help to uh it's kind of crabs we have a sam Tisha, come and record. She did it. Do you want to record? Me? Actually, no. Tisha, can you record? Stop it. Cool, look at this heart. Rock. There's like candles all look around this you. Rock. What did you find? 
you found a lot of crabs. Yeah, what? Crab hunting, huh? Yep. Definitely. Oh, there's one. Where? Oh, he went. Oh, it's so cold. Jason? Maybe. Oh, okay. What? What? It's just so cold. Because of all the ocean. I heart Jason. What? go in and see what it does okay can you just focus on that and just let the tide go in and see let's let's see what the science experiment does let's see what happens to the sand when the sand when when the tide comes in Beach. 